Welcome back to our channel, the premier source for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales and her royal family. Today we have some breaking news to share with you. Catherine and William were seen smiling brightly as they played hockey during a recent royal visit. On the royal family's tour of frigid Stockholm, Catherine went head-to-head -head in hockey against William, but was bested in a single shot. During their first engagement on a visit to Sweden and Norway, the Prince and Princess of Wales got competitive on a bandy hockey rink. William and Catherine were dressed in heavy jackets, hooded tops and winter boots, and were all given hockey sticks to try to score three goals. They had to aim for the red carpet playfully laid out on the ice to count as a score. William went first and succeeded on both of his attempts. Catherine, a skilled hockey player in middle school, used to have excellent form but only managed to score one goal this time. The pair who kicked off a four-day state visit to Sweden and Norway in Stockholm stopped by a skating rink in the city for the fun activity. They were also invited on a skiing excursion during their time in Stockholm. Catherine looked fabulous as always, bundled up against the bitter cold of minus one degrees by wearing a Burberry sheepskin coat and tight pants with sorrel winter boots. She and William were seen bobbing wool caps to protect their head warmth. Ever the fashion diplomat, the Duchess wore a burgundy jumper by popular Swedish brand Fjallraven. The princess has always had a knack for diplomacy. Catherine and William chose a maroon sweater from famed Swedish designer Fjallraven. Catherine and William sipped on a strong liquor beverage from a bottle packed into a bandy portfolio or bandy briefcase, a classic office-style suitcase that often contains a flask of glog or coffee spiked with liquor. The liquid inside the flask is commonly known as glog, a glog-like beverage. On their first engagement in Sweden, the Duchess and her husband were invited on a skiing trip in Sweden and Norway, where Catherine and William played against each other on the bandy hockey rink. The princess, a former university hockey player, used to have solid form but lost two of her three shots on goal. William went first and made both of his attempts successfully. The Princess of Wales couldn't help but grin at her hubby as she walked down the red carpet before taking her shots. William placed a protective hand on her waist. The pair watched as two teams of burly athletes practiced the incredibly fast-paced sport. The night before, William and Catherine had arrived in Stockholm on a private plane for a four-day tour of Scandinavia, departing from London after collecting their children from school and daycare. Those who were escorted by the 13-person entourage were taken to a ski resort in Stockholm. In addition to security personnel, which includes Catherine's hairstylist who caused a minor uproar yesterday by posting a photo of the princess's hair on Instagram, the party also includes two private secretaries, four press officers, their senior advisor Sir David Manning, William's equerry, one orderly, a PA, a program coordinator, and a tour manager. The princess stayed warm in a Burberry quilted jacket, complete with a gray fuzzy hat with a colorful pom-pom to keep her temples cozy. At the institution, the royal couple will interact with several Nobel laureates and learn more about research in Sweden, including the famous Nobel Prize process from the institution's administrators. The second day's activities are meant to highlight Swedish innovation, as the globally renowned flat pack furniture company IKEA hails from here with a focus on eco-friendly furnishings. Their final engagement of the jam-packed first day will be dinner at the British Ambassador's residence, where they will stay for the remainder of their visit to Stockholm. It is expected to be attended by members of the Swedish royal family, government officials, and popular entertainers. Catherine had played field hockey and was expected to be quite good, but she actually did not perform so well. An insider source added, she knew how and where to grip the stick and had a powerful swing. I was blown away. Reporters believe that William, who held his stick confidently, likely had a decent chance. I could see them enjoying trying to outdo each other, the source continues. They were also encouraging each other to do better. Upon their time on the ice rink, William and Catherine headed to the Royal Palace of Sweden, where they were greeted by King Carl XIV Gustaf, Queen Sylvia, Prince Daniel, and the future Queen Victoria. The princess donned an emerald Catherine Walker coat instead of her usual Burberry coat. 
Queen Victoria wore a black Burberry sheepskin coat along with a small black Burberry purse instead of her typical handbag. At a meeting on Thursday with most of the Norwegian royal family during the trip to the United Kingdom, Prince William and Princess Catherine reconnected with their Norwegian counterparts, Crown Prince Hakon and Crown Princess Met Merit. Hakon and Met Merit had been scheduled to visit the UK last September. However, their trip was postponed following Queen Elizabeth E's funeral. Norway's King Harold and Queen Sanja joined the late monarch's formal burial service at Westminster Abbey. According to Kensington Palace officials, the Prince and Princess of Wales invited Crown Prince Hakon and Princess Met Merit to set conference at Windsor Castle, where they focused on addressing shared environmental concerns. Following their discussion with the Norwegian couple, Prince Hakon and Princess Met Merit agreed to attend the ceremony. The royal family's official meeting was held on Thursday, July 23rd, and the four participants met with representatives from three of Norway's largest green energy technology companies. It follows a busy week of public appearances for Prince William and Princess Catherine. They traveled to Wales on Tuesday for various activities, including the launch of a project to create vegetable gardens to promote mental well-being and a visit to a basketball court. After their time on the hockey rink, William and Catherine headed to the Royal Palace of Sweden, where they were greeted by King Carl XIV Gustaf, Queen Sylvia, Prince Daniel, and the future Queen Victoria. The princess donned an emerald Catherine Walker coat instead of her usual Burberry coat. Queen Victoria wore a black Burberry sheepskin coat along with a small black Burberry purse instead of her typical handbag. The Duchess and Prince William will remain in Stockholm for the duration of their Scandinavian tour before heading to Norway. While in Sweden, they have a packed schedule meeting various leaders and learning about Swedish culture. Some highlights include meeting with young entrepreneurs at a leading Stockholm technology hub, learning about sustainability initiatives from major Swedish companies, and celebrating youth culture at an ice skating rink engagement. William in particular is interested to learn about Sweden's approaches to mental health support and suicide prevention for young people. The Royals will visit an organization providing counseling services to youth. The Prince has spoken openly about his mental health advocacy work in the past. Catherine, known for her keen fashion sense, is excited to visit Sweden's renowned Fotografiska Museum, showcasing contemporary photography. She studied art history and photography in university. The Duchess will likely don Swedish brands and pay homage to Scandinavian style during her tour ensembles. The royal couple's children Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis remained in London since this tour focuses on key issues relevant to William and Catherine's ongoing charity work and areas of interest. However, they enjoy sharing photos and stories with their kids after overseas trips. While the Scandinavia visit has been hailed as success thus far, amplifying the UK's diplomatic ties and goodwill with Sweden and Norway, there has been some minor controversy. As mentioned, Catherine's personal hairdresser sparked debate by posting an unauthorized photo of the princess's locks on social media. Additionally, outspoken feminist groups in Sweden expressed disappointment that Crown Princess Victoria was not featured more prominently in the royal couple's agenda. Some felt it minimized Victoria's future role as the nation's first female monarch. Palace officials have reiterated the itinerary was designed to highlight shared interests and claim no slight was intended. As William and Catherine Starr continues rising on the global stage, their travel missteps and public relations flubs are amplified under intense media glare. Yet the poised and gracious couple takes each one in stride while continuing to champion the causes closest to their hearts. In 2024 and beyond, we look forward to following the Prince and Princess of Wales on many more productive overseas tours, as they represent the modern monarchy's fresh face to the world. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe and stay tuned for more unauthorized reimaginings of the British royal family's news. Wishing you and yours a wonderful 2024 May it be a year of good health, joy, and prosperity.